Mm. Well, NBC5 viewer John Samari sent us this video of his friend covered in pollen <laughs> after retrieving his golf ball from under a tree. Uh, this is at the Tribute Golf Club in Lake Louisville uh, in the colony. Samari says that they were both shocked wow. at how explosive the pollen was. <laughs> Thankfully, neither of them suffered any allergies. But remember that while pollen is primarily released in December and January, we can still see higher counts through early March. That probably would have disabled that's me. See, that's yeah. cedar, <laughs> that's cedar I've been pollen. done for the day. That's cedar pollen. That's, yeah. that's, this is the pollen season we are in. Now, it yeah. should be winding down, yeah. but it's still pretty high. In that fact, bad. take a look. Mountain cedar, where is it? It's in the high category today. There's other pollens out there, but cedar pollen is going to be the worst for the next few weeks. Now, why is that? Well, anytime you have a south wind, there's a lot of cedar trees. Yeah, there's some around DFW, no doubt, all right? But there are larger clusters to the south and southwest of us. So a south wind tends to bring in that higher pollen count. So north wind, not so bad. North wind brings in colder air. South wind brings in cedar pollen. So pick your poison, folks, but hopefully uh, cedar pollen season will be winding down here shortly, just in time for the other pollens to kind of get going. You know, the kind that leave that green film on your outdoor patio stuff for a while in the spring.